Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing a Walmart survival challenge. Spending about no more than $150. I was going to do $100, but I bumped it up to $150 because of the price of everything going up recently. A couple of things to note. It's been raining for the last couple of days here, so the ground's going to be soaking wet. We're going to a new location, and I've set a couple of ground rules. I can't use any kit I already own, so no cooking, no anything. Um, can't use my own lawn chair, anything. So if I want it, I have to buy it while I'm here, or make it, or create it, or whatever. The only thing that's not included in this budget is the food, because I'm not going to eat crap, and I'm not putting that in that budget. I want to be able to spend that specifically on gear. The other thing with this kit is, is I have a nephew who's kind of into this camping survival thing with me. So when I get done using this kit, breaking it in, we'll call it, I'm going to give it to him because he's been really wanting one. So I'm going to do that. We're going to hit up a couple of Walmarts. I'm at Walmart right now. Uh, my closest Walmart. We're going to see what they have. If they don't have everything I need, I'm on my way to another town anyway, so I'll, I'll pick it up there. I'm also probably going to be doing this in a different location than I normally do. A more public location. And there's going to be a pond there. There's a lake there. I am going to bring my own fishing rod and my own fishing gear because that's not part of this video. I just want to do a little bit of fishing. So if y'all see me with the fishing rods, he didn't buy that. No, I didn't, but it will be okay because I'm letting you guys know now is that's just not part of this video. So the ground rules are I have to buy it at Walmart to be able to use it. You can only spend $150. That does not include food or drinks. That's really it. Pretty much. So... I'm going to get in here and see what I can find. And I really want this all to fit in one bag, like one backpack, one small backpack. This is not going to be a very big kit. So I don't think I'll come close to that $150 mark. I'm already 14 in the hole because I saw something at another Walmart the other day and I bought it. And then I decided to do this video. So I'm going to subtract that from the $150. So we're sitting at what, $140 to $136? So we got $136 left to spend. I've got a few other things that I had to pick up, so I'll have to like, you know, calculate the gear that I'm buying on one thing and then my other stuff separately. But I'm gonna get in here. Hopefully they have everything I need. If not, I'll stop at the other Walmart and get it. Let's go. All right, guys. So the cool thing about doing this challenge is, is that every Walmart is actually different. Every Walmart sells different stuff. Every Walmart has different things. So you really go into different Walmarts, you get to track down, well, different stuff. Like this Walmart doesn't have what that other one did that I was at that day I found. That one piece of kit. So I'm definitely gonna have to go to that other Walmart already. I can already tell because they are lacking in so much stuff. But we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so that, uh, this Walmart didn't have very much, which is weird because normally they do have a pretty good selection. But they look pretty cleaned out. Maybe it's because it's spring and people are trying to go camping, stuff like that. I did get a warm weather sleeping bag, some tent stakes, and a tarp. That's about it, actually, from this one. So I'm gonna have to hit up the other one. Hopefully they'll have something else. Their backpacks really suck. For the price, they just don't, they suck. I, I'm not pleased with that at all. On how much, how much they cost for what they, what I seem to be getting. Because that would be a huge chunk of my budget for a backpack. Which don't get me wrong, the backpack is important, but 
but I think he's already owned a bunch of them. And I know I'm not keeping this one, but I even that being said, I would rather give mine away because I know I didn't pay that much for it. But that's not the rule, so I'll have to buy one or buy something to use as a way to carry things. Better just buy some bungee cords or some rope or something and come up with a way to tie the sleeping bag and stuff to the top of the bag or the bottom of the bag or whatever. I'll figure it out. I always do. Good thing about the town I'm going to now though is there's actually two Walmarts in it. So we'll see if we can get everything we need between those two Walmarts. If not, I'll have to change my plan a little bit because I have a little bit of gear that I planned on getting because it's good stuff. I know it's good stuff, but I can't seem to come up. I could come up with it at that one. I know that they have it at the other Walmart that I was originally going to go to, but that ended up changing. And so now I'm going to go to these two and hopefully we can get everything there. We'll just see. It just amazes me how drastically different every Walmart is. Every one of them. They all got different stuff, different things, which is cool. I mean, that gives you kind of a, a reason to go look at them, go to different ones, see if you can find <coughs> what you're looking for. So hopefully I can find <coughs> what I'm looking for with this one. It will be good to go. and. I can actually start this adventure because if not I'll have to go to another one and I really don't want to so we'll see what happens here but at this point yeah, it's looking like slim pickings too they have more than the last one but still not exactly what I'm looking for and I guess that's the bad thing is I know what I'm looking for and I haven't been able to find it maybe I can maybe I can Hopefully I'm overlooking it. Hopefully I'll find it. We'll see. All right, so I managed to get everything I needed at that Walmart. Um, now this video should be going live soon then. Um, I got everything I needed. Came in right at about a hundred bucks. This is what we ended up spending. 130, 100, 130. What we ended up spending all together. No, a hundred. We ended up right at a hundred. So, I did buy some items that were not for the video. So, of course, gotta subtract that. So, yeah, right at about a hundred, I would say. This is what that cost. Mm. Right about a hundred bucks. So, the next time y'all see me, I was just putting so dark. The next time y'all see me, we'll be setting up camp. Getting ready to go. I think, yeah, that should be the next thing. Setting up camp, getting ready to go. I'll see y'all there. All right, guys, so we're out here on location. Um, it's a different location, as you can see. There is a lake behind me, so I can do some fishing. It's a really beautiful spot most of the time, but apparently people have been kind of coming down here and trashing it. I don't like that. Now, I've camped here before. It's been about a year. And people just keep keep destroying it. It's actually in within the Holly Spring National Forest in upper Mississippi. Anybody can come here. It's public. Um, but people just are trashing it. And I really, really don't like that. Because, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful lake. As you guys can see, but then you come up here and you've got crap like this. Well, it looks like somebody at least attempted to clean it up. They at least piled it all up. And they rutted out the road to the lake real bad. I mean, everywhere. This is all normally, this is like parking and stuff. And there's a boat ramp and they ripped all the wood. No, I'll just go show you guys. 
this right here this wood what's left of this wood structure actually used to be a picnic table with a top on it the top's right there because you can't burn the top people would rip it apart now they ripped this apart a while ago like this got ripped apart a year or so ago not long after they built it and they somebody ran over the sign that was right there a little gravel boat ramp i've kayaked this a few times and it's a really pretty lake just people ruin it i don't know why people gotta suck why well, they can't take care of our environment and stuff and ruin this lovely spot with trash and rutting out the road and everything else but the cool thing about the national forest is you can camp anywhere on it so we will be camping out here today doing our um it really came out to be about a hundred dollars i think is what i spent so or a little over so our hundred ish um survival challenge walmart survival challenge i'm gonna get all the gear out and i'll show it to you guys in a minute i got my spot picked out i did not buy a tent i did bring the truck because i had to drive here but i'm gonna get all the gear out of the truck set it on the tailgate i show it to you guys. I guess. <laughs> Alright, so here's the stuff I bought. Warm weather sleeping bag. A sleeping pad. A backpack to carry all this stuff. A mess kit for cooking bank line for tying knots and tying everything down this flashlight which i'm really interested in because you can it's got a clip on it so i was thinking hands-free wise you could clip it to the strap on the backpack and you'd be able to walk around and see where you were going without having to hands and it actually rotates up to be like a normal flashlight it's got a magnetic base so you can magnetic like stick it to stuff that's pretty cool um I also thought, you know, you can set it on the ground. You'll be able to see what you're doing without having to hold it. So it's kind of a hands-free option without it being a headlamp. A peak stove and fuel. Silverware. Tent stakes. One 8x10 tarp. Oh, I'm sorry, 6x8. I thought I grabbed the 8x10. This is a 6x8. Might make things a little more difficult than I was planning on it. But one of the more valuable things I bought, or the more interesting thing I bought was this kit. It's made by Camulus. I love their stuff. Um, I have a review of their Carnivore X on my channel here. I love that. It's actually in my truck currently. Um, it's a great knife. Or It's more of a knife than a machete even though some people would call it a machete it's a, a machete should be thin and flimsy like they chop through stuff better that way it's more of a knife anyway this whole kit right here was 14 dollars. stainless steel hatchet stainless steel knife and a manganese steel saw and it came with a little bullcrap sharpener. I ain't worried about sharpener. But this whole thing, for all three of these tools, was $14. So, it's actually kind of what started this whole video, was I really wanted to test this out. When I saw it for $14, I was like, hey, that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to build my shelter out of this tarp using the bank line. and the tent stakes, hopefully. I've never done this before. 
I started shooting this video yesterday on Easter is when I went and bought all this stuff. And today's a pretty day. Decided we do it today. It is supposed to get down to be about 39 degrees tonight. So hopefully I can come up with a good shelter system with this. I've got a couple of ideas, but like I said, I've never done it before. So hopefully I can get it figured out. But that's my gear. Um, we're making tacos tonight for dinner. I've got a new beer to try. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, and I bought a big lighter. I didn't show y'all that part for starting an actual fire. Bug spray. But it's cool enough out here right now. I don't I haven't seen any mosquitoes. Hopefully they don't bother me. The knife sharp. Yeah, folding so. crappy stone I don't like these stones I mean they literally will fall apart they're just they're crap I don't use these but it came in the kit so and for some reason instructions all great things for the fire later Oh, it came with two sheaths, one for the knife, one for the hatchet. The only thing that always kills me is, is it'll, it'll come with a sharpening stone, but nowhere to store the sharpening stone. Anyway. All right, I'm going to get to see if I can get working on the shelter and see what I can come up with. All right, guys, so I got this all set up. Super simple tube tent is what I went with. It was the easiest thing due to, well, really the just tarp was too small. It was not the tarp I thought I grabbed, but it works. So we have just a simple tube tent. Oh, so if I get you guys down here with me. Well, it. So it's just a simple tube tent. Got a sleeping bag, a sleeping mat in there. Good for one person. You know. Um, is it going to be the warmest, most comfortable night's sleep you ever had? No. But it definitely saved your life. It could, I mean, it'll keep you dry and blocks most of the wind. And then with our fire going to go right there on that dirt patch, one and a half full steps away. I think we'll be all right through the night. I'm gonna go do some fishing, and I'll see you guys here in a little while. 
All right, guys. Oh, I'm. I was getting ready to start this fire, and uh, I was messing with my mess kit and everything, just playing around. But I've been beating the crap out of this little cumulus hatchet. This thing is awesome. My only complaint is, is I need to tighten the screws. I need to tighten the screws that hold the head in, and it's not big enough to uh, hammer in tent stakes. But I don't know if you guys. You can hear that she's come a little loose but i have been beating the crap out of this thing i threw it at a tree like four or five times trying to see if i get it to stick i didn't okay it never stuck but this little thing is actually pretty wicked i mean just for what it is i mean i knocked that little notch out i mean it ain't i mean it's you're not gonna fall a tree with it I'm doing this left-handed because I'm holding the camera with my right hand, but I mean, it's sharp. It seems to be holding a good edge. If this will focus, focus. Well, apparently it doesn't want to focus, but man, it's holding a good edge. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the edge. So, still don't know why the camera won't focus, but focus on it. Well, so yeah, it's got a, it's been holding a good edge. It's not rounded off or anything. Been just beating up crap out of it and it seems to be working good i'm actually really impressed with it that little knife's great the saw works i don't know how long the saw would work i don't know how sharp it would stay but really impressed with the hatchet it's real nice but yeah i'm just uh temperature's dropping I said I wish I'd have known a little better before I bought a sleeping bag that's only good to 50 degrees. Comfort level at 50. Uh, might be a little bit of a cold night. <laughs> might be alright. Um, I'm actually going to start the fire here in just a minute. And go from there. Because I got my big lighter. One, one strike. Um, besides that, the only thing I brought that's not from Walmart per se is my lighting, my lighting for me to film, and a little self-defense. So, even food, I mean food, everything came from Walmart, but that wasn't part of the video. I mean, that wasn't part of the budget, like I said. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cook on the peak stove with the mess kit or cook on the fire i'm actually really really disappointed in this mess kit um it comes with a little cup and everything it's really small though i should have just got one of those frying pans like i normally use that i normally keep with me and there's one in the truck but that'd be cheating so we're gonna use the mess kit and take four hours to cook what i want to cook so it's all right i mean the mess kit's cool it, I mean, you get, so if you've never had a mess kit, let's try to find a spot for you guys. So if you've never had a mess kit, it's pretty simple. You get a plate. A little cup. They used to not come with a cup, but now you get a little cup. A little half quart pot. And I think it's a 6.7 inch frying pan. The issue is, when you go to put it on the stove, the handle's so dang heavy, it wants to fall off the stove. So, that part kinda sucks. Other than that, it's cool. I mean, you can boil water. You've got a way to drink your water 
it all fits together real compact fit in a bag and you got a plate which is also a lid then you know it all becomes this so i don't know i probably should just want the regular frying pan like i normally would have but in our little little tube tent we built i'm really proud of it it's the first time i've ever done anything like this other than in the back of the truck making up a shelter probably not something i'm gonna do a lot i really prefer camping i wouldn't say i'm a survivalist i'm not really a survivalist there are some tricks and tips that i'll give you guys that are survival like but i'm more of a camper i would never it's camping it's what it is you know but it's different camping it leans more on the survival side than the regular camping side but i am going to do a kind of like a glamping video soon i think that'll be fun where i'm going to pull out the tent and the air mattress and just go above and beyond what i normally do that being said when it comes down to it i like the simple the simple camping the the simplicity of it the the less gear you don't need all this crap to go camping to have a good time the less gear i have less crap i gotta haul around and i'm having just as much fun but i'm only staying for a night or two with all my other camping gear my water containers and all that that's when i stay for like a week or two at a time so some of it's necessary some of it's not it's why i put it all in storage because i haven't used it in a while i've been i guess minimalist camping for the last you know little while and i didn't need all of that stuff i like what i can kind of just carry with me and go it's it's nice it's simple but once the sun goes down we'll get the fire started I'll get on some grub. I said we're making tacos. I got them marinating. Show you that. So we got it marinating in a or meat marinating in this chili lime seasoning that I found. Looks really good. So we got cheese and some other stuff. A couple of adult beverages. And just a beautiful peaceful night i love it god i love it ain't no place i'd rather be no place i'd rather be all right guys if you can't tell it is cooling off i've put on an extra jacket and my toboggan because it's getting a little cool out here I'm currently trying to light this little stove. Oh, there it goes. Well, I said no. There she goes. Um, I ended up having to use a different pan because it was just too much to fit in that little one. I tried. You can see right here. I attempted to use it, but it just wasn't going to work. It ended up feeling it slap to the brim i couldn't stir it i tried um got my fire going though it looks good it's all warm and stuff i'm just hanging out here cooking go make some tacos hopefully it turns out good and i'll let y'all know all right guys here it is cheesy potatoey oniony got some good beef in there Gonna put it on these taco, gonna put it on some street taco shells, and I'm gonna smash. Then I'm gonna climb inside the shelter and hit the sack. So, I'm gonna eat me some food, I'm gonna drink me some beer, and I will see you guys in the shelter in a little bit. Alright guys, as you can see, we are in our little shelter. I found this in my truck because I didn't bring a pillow, but I got plenty of space. And I'm fairly comfortable. I'm warm. So hopefully it'll be a good night. This thing's blocking all the wind. I still hate being on the ground. 
I really like my hammock a whole lot more. I hate being on the ground. Ugh. But probably be doing a lot of hammock camping this year. Trying different, trying different gear, but just mostly being in the hammock because I hate sleeping on the ground and that hammock's so comfortable. So I'll see y'all in the morning. I'll let y'all know how I slept and how this pad works out and how just the whole shelter works out. If I stay warm or not, because this thing's only rated to a comfort rating of 50 and it's supposed to get down to 39. So hopefully with my extra layers on, I'll stay warm. We'll see. Love y'all. See y'all in the morning. Oh, good morning, guys. <clears throat> uh, so, was not the most comfortable night's sleep I've ever had, but it wasn't the worst. I mean, it, it worked. I'm dry. I stayed warm. Um, I would not say I stayed comfortable. This mat doesn't do crap. I can tell I've been sleeping on the hard ground all night. But besides that, it worked. I won't do it again. I will not sleep on the ground again. Not my style. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna get up, get this stuff cleaned up, and get back to the house. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Y'all stay frosty, and I'll see you next time.